Hi, and welcome to a new policy video from Gravity.io. Today we're going to be talking about the API management product and the cash policy. So the cash policy allows you to basically cash upstream responses and therefore you're eliminating the need for repetitive calls to the back end. And this can obviously save your back end resources. And also it means that you're actually caching the response to deliver that quicker to the um, um, API caller as well. So really straightforward policy, super powerful and means that you're going to save a lot of unnecessary calls to your back end. Okay, so let's get started um, in Gravity. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a, um, a couple of new APIs first of all. So let's do that. Let's just expand the screen. Let's use the design studio again. And let's call this the cash policy. So I'm going to call it um, cash policy. I'm going to call it 0.1. The back end that we're going to use this time is, um, let's just type this in first of all, it's going to be a time back end. So we're going to be hitting a, um, an API which gives us the time. So it's the world clock. Um, that one next plan name let's call this cash policy um so the first one i'm going to create the plan is called not cached i'm going to give it an api key this is a test plan um let's actually not give it any rate limits or quotas um the resource filtering is just that i'm not going to give it some documentation this time and then let's do create and start the API. Perfect. Okay, and I'm gonna publish this API as well. Great. So what we're gonna do next is go and create an application. So let's call it cache policy um, app one. This is a test app. Um, simple web application and let's look for our API cache policy there we go um, I'm going to subscribe to that and do next and create the app perfect so now what we're going to do is that we've created the app so we should have a subscription there perfect not cached except perfect so now if we copy that and put that into postman and just pull that across here so i've put my new api key there what we should see is that time coming back so we've got the not cached api response and we've got a time so if we look at this time so it says last three digits are 576 and you can see that's changing so 353 805 803 600 okay so that one's bringing back the time and we're good to go Okay, so now let's create another plan. So we go back to plans and you've probably guessed it already, but let's call this cash um, cash policy and this one's the, gonna be the cached version. So this is a test plan. Let's um, do next um, security type. Let's give that an API key as well. Okay, cool. I'm um, not going to give it any default policies. Okay, it's in um, staging at the moment, so let's publish that plan. Okay, and let's um, deploy our API as well, so update that. That's cool. So now we've got a not cached plan and a cached plan. So go back to here, create applications, create an app. Uh, let's call it cache policy app 2 this is a test um, app web uh, let's look for our application and there we go now we've got two um, plans so I'm going to subscribe to this one next create the app perfect 
So now what we're going to do is go back to subscriptions and we should have two cached and not cached. We've got that one already, not cached. So let's go to that one, except, and we've got a new key there. So let's copy that to the clipboard and paste that into there. Okay, so we've got a not cache policy and a cache policy. If we send this, then at the moment it's working exactly like the other one. So 747, um, 371, and we've got both policies now returning the time as we expect. Now let's go to our um, design and let's go to our cache policy. So what we're going to do with the cache policy is just actually look for the cache policy here and the cache name that we're going to give it is it's not there yet so let's now go to resources and create a cache so we got my cache let's just call that my cache one and then do save Okay, so that's now created a cache called my cache one. So I'll go back to design. Let's add that policy. Sorry. Yeah, cached. Let's add that into there. My cache one. And it's going to create a cache that we can use to save on that policy. So now let's do save and deploy your API. Cool. So now that's all done. So now if we go back to not cached, then we can see that time is continually changing. So it's 3510259. Um, but now if we go to the cached policy, at the moment it's 832. It's gone to 463. But now if we keep sending it, can you see that it's still 463? So we're now using the cache when we're hitting that API. And obviously the cache has a lifetime. So when we configure the, t the cache, it's got a time to live. And then after that, it will go back and um, refresh the data from the API. But essentially in that few minutes, what we've done is added the caching policy. So in a really straightforward way, we're able to now save the backend API um, from being continually hit and and return a cache policy now this is on on a use case by use case basis but gravity gives you a really straightforward way of enabling cache such that you're saving your back-end resources okay um that's it for that video i'll see you on the next one thank you bye